this is a false coral snake, which looks very similar to real coral snakes around here. Um, same color, same pattern, same order of the colors. Um, but the color's not quite as perfect as in real coral snakes. And there's some other minor differences. This is a young, young individual. I'm trying to get it to sit still so I can take its photograph. Um, so it can appear in a field guide. The reptiles of Costa Rica soon. Um, they're interesting because they're, they actually have very, very similar behavior to true coral snakes. They eat other snakes like real coral snakes. Um, they actually are mildly venomous and uh, have interesting defensive behavior, so they're very similar to the real coral snakes as well. It might actually do it once I try to get it to sit still, is that sometimes it'll curl up its tail and ball it up as if it's a fake hat, trying to draw attention to it so that if a predator tries to get it, it'll try to eat the tail and not the head. That's how yeah, this works. Snakes are very tactile creatures, so they actually don't enjoy being out in the open like being on this white piece of plexiglass. So often putting your hand on and just applying gentle pressure makes them calm down. It feels dark and snug. They like to have surfaces touching them on all sides. So often, often they'll calm down pretty quickly, and I can actually feel it's not even trying to move right now. It feels pretty good there. Of course, his head is facing the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing I can't control.